Hi, I'm Kiran Banglo. I'm a senior program manager in the storage and file system team in Windows. Today I get to show you the improvements we made to Checklist in Windows 8. We're using two identical systems. The one on the left is running Windows 7 and the one on the right is running Windows 8. We're going to create a file using an internal tool to corrupt it and then this internal tool will apply a metadata corruption. It's sort of a typical corruption you would see if your disk was going bad and a few bits, bits flipped on you and that happened to be in a metadata of a file. Then we'll try to access the file using notepad and you will see that the file is corrupted and then we'll go through the flow. So first let's go ahead and corrupt that file. Access it using notepad. You can see that the file is corrupted. Now at this point in Windows 7 you would sometimes get notified like you can see that the notepad is telling you that to run check disk or in Windows 8 um, we would wait till the next maintenance hour but if you go to the action center you can see that you can scan the file system for errors and this scan from the action center will allow you to run online while you use your system and when the scan is complete you'll be prompted for further action in some cases we'll be able to fix issues online without having to take the volume offline at all or reboot the system but in, in this case we'll have to actually go through and restart the system and, um, and apply the fixes. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the system in Windows 8. Similarly, we'll do the same thing in Windows 7. This is a kind of corruption we can actually spot fix. We can actually fix this kind of corruption in less than a second. It's really hard to catch that we were even doing a fix up in Windows 8 um, during startup, but we'll try to in this time. It's coming up. You can see that Windows 8 is up, fixed up the corruption, back up and alive, while Windows 7 is still running through and trying to fix the corruption. We're going to apply the same corruption to a data drive, the P drive, and then we'll start a video to show that we can keep the volume accessible in Windows 8 while we're running a scan, whereas in Windows 7, we'll have to actually take the volume offline to go do a check disk. Let's go ahead and start by corrupting the drive, P. This is the same corruption we applied in the earlier experiment. Then we're going to open it up in Notepad to show that the corruption exists. At this point, the Action Center would, have, would tell you to go run a scan. Um, I'm going to before I run the scan, I'm going to open up the video. The video playing. And in Windows 8, I can actually do an online scan, keeping the volume available. But in Windows 7, um, I'll have to run a full check disk. So here I'm running the scan. So basically at this point, Windows is, check disk, uh, is running check disk. You can see in Windows 7, we had the video had to go offline because Windows 7 requires us to actually take the volume offline to do the scan. Once this is done, I can I can do a spot fix in Windows 8, a simple spot fix. For this, I have to take the volume offline, but very briefly, it's done. It took about a, a little over a second for us to go through and fix that volume and come back online. We'll go ahead and restart the videos to show that the volumes came back online and are healthy. There you see both the volumes are back online. In this video, you saw the changes we made to check this and availability in Windows 8. We hope that you don't run into a corrupted disk, but if you do, the new check is available for you as part of the consumer preview builds. Please try it. Thank you for your time.